Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of Revelations. As usual, my name is Mami Grace. Today we, we have a very beautiful guest here who are going to reveal another, another, another episode for you. We keep learning on this very show. Today I have with me Dick Dake on the show. He's an entrepreneur, but our issues, I don't know if I should call it issues, our um, religion. Mm -hmm. On this platform, we talk about everything religion, everything spiritual. That is what we discuss here. Mr. Dick, or the issues, I'm going to talk about the issues. I'm going to talk about the issues. I'm going to talk about the And by the grace of God, we've gotten a very good Christian apologist here who would also put in his own um, view or opinion. So we keep learning. We keep learning. So welcome to another episode of Revelations. My guest, I welcome you to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You. Um, Mr. Dick, introduce yourself to the guest. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm Dick Darkey. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. And um, I'm, I will say I'm a free thinker. I was born into a Christian family. Uh, my mom and my dad uh, born in Winneba. I grew up in, in Accra. Um, currently, cu currently um, running a business on my own. And yeah, so that's it. That's it. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm Carl Desmond, and um, I'm the founder of Apologia Africa. It's a Christian apologetics group founded some years back and we are into the defense of christianity and anything gospel so <clears throat> we are a group of people i'm not the only person doing this but i happen to be the leader of this particular group so that's what i can say by means of introduction yes okay welcome to revelations Thank if you, you just join us i will lose if you are now miss if you have a kind of conversation so no a barber study me the edamami grace Okay, so, um, Carl, <laughs> you've been watching Revelations for some time now. A lot of people don't believe in God. Some don't even believe in the existence of Jesus. What do you say? What do you have to say about Yeah, this? so, um, as for beliefs, everybody can claim a belief. And I have watched some few episodes, I mean, before coming here, I, I, I glanced through and went through back and forth to see some of the things people have said on the program. And I would say that most people have what they believe, but as to whether the things they believe are verifiable is another thing. So to say that Jesus Christ never existed is just a claim. And to make claims, we would have to subject your claims to... Uh, through investigation to find out whether what you are saying is actually the truth. So I see that most people come on the show, they say they do not believe in this, they do not believe in that, but as to whether what they are saying is the truth, I, I can guarantee you a bit of proof into most of the things they say will let you know that the things they are saying are not true. Because for example, like you mentioned that somebody said Jesus Christ never existed. You see, when you say things like this, it just shows that, um, quote unquote, either you are unlettered or you have decided not to learn. Because you see, putting the Bible aside, we can look at books that are not religious or books that are antagonistic even to the Christian faith who are actually letting you know that there was somebody who lived like Jesus. For example, there was a, a Jewish historian who, and if you know the Jews, the antagonistic to the Christian faith, who recorded some parts, the life of uh, Jesus Christ. There is another historian called Taxitus. He is also not Christian. He also recorded the life of Jesus Christ. And there is a man called Bateman. You can Google him maybe when you finish. He used to be a, a, a Christian scholar and he says he's an agnostic now. With all his claims and things he says against Christianity, the existence of Jesus Christ or the historicity of Jesus Christ is not part of it because he knows that Jesus Christ existed. As to whether you want to trust whatever he said or not is another thing. 
So I would say that yes, I've watched all this uh, plethora of people uh, uh, trying to say a lot of things about the Christian faith. But as to whether it is true, I, I will tell you that if we should probe it a bit further, most of the things they say could be uh, found to be false. Okay. I will come back to you okay. with um, these questions. No? Okay. Nini uh, awuke biya because a day inti nebe mo ubi be kwa sorry dem na afi de or say on dinya mi dibium but they are all kani de I think opinions are like noses everybody no, is entitled I, I think to that, it. Uh, uh, this is not an opinion okay. that's why I'm saying that that's what the person that says. That is your fact. No, no, that's not. You see, for example, there are things which are there for all of us to see, mm -hmm. or there have been things written mm -hmm. uh, which we can all come and say that okay, this person wrote this unless of course like professor dubahim wrote the life uh, the history of ghana so and other historical books are also there so if we want to look at how ghana was then we can look at all these books and come to a conclusion that this is how ghana was so i'm not claiming and it's not an opinion mm -hmm. what i'm saying is that so if anybody does not believe what i'm saying mm -hmm. The person can meet me one maybe somewhere. Oh, I'm coming. The, 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 the people, maybe people will meet you. But what I wanted to understand is, is that, that yes. I said it's an opinion. You said okay. it's not an opinion. It's I said it's opinion. a fact. You said it's not a fact. It's then a what fact. is it? <laughs> That's what it's a fact. Okay, if you said that, then it's true. <laughs> because I you're asked right. Whether it's an opinion. <laughs> okay, we will come back. I will still come back to yes, you since you are here to educate us on this. I okay. myself personally, as a pastor, I also have so much going okay. on with okay. me All right. in, in terms of Christianity. All so right. we will come back, but okay. um, I am coming to <laughs> <laughs> my brother here. Right. Why do you think, what, 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 what is your stand? What do you think about Christianity or religion? Where do you stand? These two questions. Um, religion, I believe, are just, um, are just beliefs. Um, most of it is indoctrinated because people are born into it. I wouldn't want to use the word brainwashed because it, it has probably a negative connotation to it. Mm -hmm. But it's more like you being born into, let's say, a family. If, or let's say even, let me take, if your dad supports, let's say, a particular football team and, and as a son, you you're always with your dad going to the stadium with him and all of that naturally you will you will lean towards that football team as well okay so it's the same with religion as well so when you're born into something where you're indoctrinated into it naturally that is what you will lean towards but we grow as human beings and we start to form our own personal opinions about certain things we learn we read mm -hmm. and and we become enlightened mm -hmm. so through that people decide to let's say lean towards whatever they believe or they form their own personal beliefs and decides to lean towards it so religion um i think it should be it should be acceptable it's like it, it's like it's a way of life we all cannot toe the same line okay it should we, we should learn to accept that individuals will have different beliefs and irrespective of our beliefs irrespective of our age irrespective of our gender sexual orientation religious um, preference, political affiliation, what have you, we can all coexist. You don't have to necessarily hate one religion in order to make yours relevant. So I believe that yes, individuals can have the, um, can have their so own beliefs and their own religion. You are trying to say that the fact that Udidi Senyamewoho, you can worship you through any means. Is that it? But that's what's happening. We are we are worshiping. If you if you go deep down in in the Every religion aspires to please the supreme being, mm -hmm. okay? We all believe there is God. We all believe there is a supreme being. Mm -hmm. But we have different channels mm -hmm. in getting to that supreme being. In getting to that supreme being. Correct. So is that where your problem is? Or you don't have any problem? You I, feel we should accept everything. I don't have any problem we, at You all. feel we should accept everything. Yeah, yeah. We shouldn't be like, uh, we are Christian, we are Muslim, we are this. But we should be like, it's all okay. Yeah, of course. As, For as, anyhow. Yeah, as you, an individual, you mm -hmm. want to be accepted. Like, you want your beliefs to be accepted. Mm -hmm. what, if, what if people were rejecting what you believe? Mm -hmm. Would that be right? We all cannot live like that. You like certain foods, I don't like that food. It doesn't mean that your food is poison and mine is not. Do you believe in life after death? Um, I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know. I've not, I've not lived. I've, I don't know anyone who's, who's come back after dying to come and tell me Do that you believe there's in life heaven? after death. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know about that as well. You you don't know means you are open to learn. Of course. You are open. Absolutely. So you are trying to find out. So if something should convince you that this is heaven, this is life after that, if like somebody is able to teach you and you know, you will accept. Is that it? Um, not necessarily. Uh, where is the source? How is the person teaching me? Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, there, I, God has given us brains. God has given us. We, we have our own. We, we're supposed to process things. Okay, we, you're supposed to read and be able to interpret things your own way, and that is why you don't have you don't have let's say even pastors preaching the same gospel. You can go to different churches. You can go to let's say the Catholics have a way of have a way of teaching the word of God. Anglicans, Presbyterians, Methodists. Um, we all have, even though they are all it's supposed to be a Christian um, religion. They have different factions. Yeah, they have the different religion. factions, but they have one one goal. They all believe in heaven, salvation. Understood. Mm -hmm. But then again, you will have a Protestant or you have, let's say, Jehovah Witness, having certain beliefs that um, a Methodist doesn't have. Mm -hmm. But they are presumably reading from the same book. Does these things confuse you? No, it doesn't, it doesn't confuse it's me at okay all. It's okay with you. It, initially, um, it, back in the day, I was very, very opinionated and I was close-minded. So my beliefs were my beliefs and I had serious reservations about that. But as I grow, mm -hmm. I've gotten to understand that it is okay for people to have their own beliefs okay. without having any negative effect on me. It's fine. Okay, it should Mr. be acceptable. Kha, what do you have to say about what he's saying? Yeah, <clears throat> I think I listened to my brother say some few things right now. I think that some of the things I understood, some of the things that you were saying, and some of the things he was also saying, I noticed that he was trying to get into even Christianity where people see different things, but they have the same goal and all that. And then he mentioned you are witnesses to actually buttress uh, his point and all that. I mean, the thing here is that <clears throat> we have two, we have two major. Uh, I mean, divisions when it comes to religious beliefs and where people will end up when they die. We have the monotheistic, those who believe that there is just a God. For example, Islam, Christianity, and then I think uh, some other religious belief. <coughs> they all believe in heaven. And then we have the pantheistic, which is they believe in reincarnation. They believe that when you die, you come back and all that. And that's one African traditional religion and several other of the eastern religions i want to tackle something that he said my brother is says that my brother says that he's a free thinker and that he believes that all these uh religious uh, uh beliefs that people have lead to the same place which i bet to differ in a sense that the law of non-contradiction says that contradictory propositions cannot both be true at the same time so it means that when something contradicts it cannot both be truth at the same time for example when we take a religion like buddhism we take a religion like christianity we take a religion like islam they both have different views so how do we know that this one is true or this one is not true or this one is not correct for example in buddhism the goal is to actually um, eliminates a hunger from people and then eliminates desire. So uh, when you see a Buddhist, the first thing they want to do is to alienate themselves to a certain point where they don't have feelings for some things. That's why most times they have uh, they have mona, uh, 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 they have a place, a monastery where they actually go to stay. So for example, when you read the life of Gautama Siddhartha Buddha, who was actually the, the, the progenitor of Buddhism. You see that the day his wife was actually giving birth to his son, he was leaving the place because he didn't want to have an affection. They do not want to have desire. When you come to a, 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 a Islam, Islam does not believe that Jesus Christ even died. It is The Quran is the only book that says that Jesus Christ never ever rose up from from uh, uh, from the dead and then when you come to christianity christianity believes that 
Jesus Christ came here on earth and died. So and, all and these, all these things, the Quran didn't believe that uh, Jesus died. They believed that God took him up. I no, would no, want no, us to on. add that to complete that line. No, no. As for that, well, I'm not even interested in that. Okay. You don't believe that somebody died. Mm -hmm. Somebody also believes that the person died. Mm -hmm. It's just a very clear distinction. Mm -hmm. So one must be wrong. So the law of non-contradiction says that two propositions, distinct propositions, cannot be true at the same time. So something, not all these, these religious beliefs cannot all be true. Something must be true and something must be false. Okay. And this is where I'm coming to. Oh, should, is that okay? No, uh, there is something you said. The reason I, I threw this question to you, you know, was where you were trying to explain reincarnation. I, that I, I didn't explain reincarnation. Uh, you, you made a statement. You yes. made two, you gave yes, two yes, points yes. that I gave one, two points that uh, I want the, you the, to, the monotheistic uh, I want you beliefs, to, uh -huh. they believe in heaven and then the pantheistic believe in reincarnation. Can you bring but, break it down for us? Okay, so so this? so what I want to say is that in order for us to know whether what truth is in some of these things we are discussing, we all have a leveling platform to understand say adie bi eye no kre ada. What is truth? Mm -hmm. So because this person says that my religion is the truth. This person also says my religion is the truth. When meets the Buddhist, the Buddhist believe that what he believes is the truth. So how do we know what is truth and what is not the truth? Mm -hmm. That is the problem here. Yes. You understand? Yes. Because my brother feels that every all these paths just lead to one supreme being. And I'm saying no. You cannot, it, it will lead to your own supreme being. But as to whether the supreme being which should be the truth we should all hold you are leading to that one we cannot ascertain okay let's so, let's let, let me let me let me bring him in, in okay. here what he said you're okay how do you take it um i just wanted to find out from him um the supreme being like don't all these religious organizations believe that there is god are the gods different yes of course because the process no i understand that the process i yes. understand how the they are, are worshiping the, the gods, gods are, are also not, different it's not it's not the same god okay so what, allah okay what, so wait let's let's take let's say christianity okay. and let's yes, say yes. islam yes it's christianity allah, and islam yeah, do allah, not worship the same god yes they don't so they allah don't. allah is not no 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 so, allah is different from god yes <laughs> allah is different from the christian god and this is this is a very basic understanding. So Muhammad, Muhammad's God is completely yes, different it's completely from Jesus' God. I want you to completely break that down different. for me. Now I never me, knew that. Let me let me explain to you. All right. You see, in order for you, every all this thing boils down to a worldview. Okay. Your understanding and concept of what or who God is. You okay. understand? Okay. And so uh, we must, if you want to just know the different, the distinction and the contradistinction between the Islamic God. And the Christian God, it's very easy for us to find out. Okay, let's you, find out. You it's must very just important. you must just look at what the Quran says about God and what the Bible also says about God. Okay. It's as simple as that. Now, if you look at the distinction, the features of what who the Bible God is, and you look at the distinctions of who the Muslim says God is, you'll be able to know that this is not the same place we are going to. Can you because please the explain Muslim, let me the give, let me give you, the gods? Let me, let me just give you an example. Uh -huh. For example, in, in, in Christianity, what, what gets adds to God is not what we do as a people. Like, for example, I'm not supposed to, uh, uh, what would get you to God is not whether you did this or you did that. In Islam, your prayer your giving of arms, your uh, you helping somebody is what will take you to that God. But in Christianity, it is not that which will necessarily take you to that God. In a sense that, let me show you. I'm showing you. It's not. We are not. We are different. Uh, 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 uh. Whereas we believe that when you accept God, it will produce fruits of good works in Islam. It is the good works that leads you to that God. Okay, so I understand. I, I get all that you're saying. Yes. That is not. Uh, we've already established that we have different means. Mm -hmm. our, our, our way of but life. But that's why I wanted to go to the no, reason why that means is not okay. No, but by, but, but he, uh, she. Brought our, way, in a, our way of life I, is I different. Our way of in, life is different. I brought in. I brought in that question because yes. um, I was having a little problem 
about the differences you are trying but you have the to really gods be, not it. being the same yes. i don't know much about buddhism but i know a bit i won't say a lot but i will say a bit because i'm still learning about quran Quran even mentioned Jesus' name like 25 or 24 it times. It doesn't matter. It mentioned, I'm coming, please. Yes. It mentioned Muhammad for four times. Yes. And again, when they are praying, mm -hmm. the prophets, when they call the prophet, yes. they call Jesus mm -hmm. also yes. as a prophet. Yes. They believe in him as yes. a prophet. Yes. And again, mm -hmm. they have, um, because we were not discussing that, I would have given you some um, chapters in Quran. So it, that doesn't matter. I'm coming. Okay. So when you read mm -hmm. about Quran, yes. the Quran even say, it, it makes it clear that um, when you, at the end time, they believe that Jesus would even come and everybody will con be converted to their, um, yes. their, their, their worship and they will all make heaven. Mm -hmm. They believe in one God that we believe and they even believe the prophet that we believe in. That's what I'm So I, I'm coming now. Okay. So my problem here, the reason why I am asking this question, okay. maybe he will also ask his okay. question. The reason why I'm asking this question, my problem is when you said their God is different yes. from our God. Yes. But my what you are explaining, I am thinking that it is the channel you are trying to explain. Exactly. It's the channel because you never really explain. You finish. You okay. finish. Okay. Oh, no. You no, let's I did let's not finish. Okay. we will have time. Uh -huh. It's very important. You to must look at time. the characteristics of the, the Islamic Allah and then you look at our God. They do not have the same characteristics. The, you mentioned Islamic God that as Allah. Yes. Mention Christianity God so we are able to somebody who is watching us. So is I am, able I to am know using the God for the Christian. And I'm telling you that I am saying that I'm not saying this as a layman. I'm mm -hmm. saying this as a scholar. Okay. When you finish, you can go and do your own research. Okay. There is no Christian apology. It's in not this world. everybody no, that can you. make a research. No, no, the reason you are that, here that's to educate that. people. I'm saying that. I'm saying mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I have debated Muslims several mm -hmm. times. You can Google my name on YouTube. Or you can write, I said sorry. Okay, you can here, write my here we are not debating anybody. No, 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 but we I'm are trying to, to educate but, ourselves. But just I'm trying to tell you. Uh -huh, break it that down for the people who good, are watching. But that that's cannot what, go and make any research that's what to I'm understand I'm telling you that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether the Quran mentioned Jesus' name uh, how many times. It doesn't matter their beliefs. Because Christianity existed before, prior to uh, Islam. And Islam came so many years so if another book comes that is telling you that this is how it's actually supposed to be and i have something that predated what they are now saying which one am i supposed to take i'm supposed to go back to the book that pre-existed so i'm telling you that the mentioning of the names of jesus christ and all this kind of thing does not mean and muslims anybody who is a true muslims a muslim know that they they are god allah is not the same as our god that we worship because we are saying that for example the muslim the muslim does not believe in original sin the muslim we believe in original sins i was say so the 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 because of the sins of adam please are you listening yes you you become a sinner even though you have not done your first even sin. after the death of christ that thing is still in existence even after the death of, of course christ, Unless somebody accepts the Lord Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior, he's a sinner. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. He's not a sinner because of his deeds. He's a sinner by birth. Psalm 51 verse 5 says that with sin I was conceived in my mother's womb. Mm -hmm. So that is a Christian doctrine. Basic. Okay. That everybody understands. Okay. The Wait. Muslim does not believe that. Okay. Um, it doesn't mean that the God is different. Though. No. You, you, you're still not, you haven't still told no, no, me I, I how to different the, the Christian God Allah is different from Allah. You haven't said God. anything. You're talking about the, the, the way we worship, our way of life. Absolutely, it's going to be different. But you haven't ascertained with any concrete evidence that Allah is not God. This thing that you are saying, that the way of their worship and yes. all blah, blah, blah. Yes. What I'm saying is that even the sinner in the shrine, on the shrine, mm -hmm. the sinner in wherever you can get it, can repent today. Mm -hmm. And that person can still receive Christ. Okay. So how much more? Omo, omo, di omo, wina, misumu, ni omo, sumu, dada. That's and because that. of mm -hmm. how they are going, you know, mm -hmm. um, their God becomes different from our God. And mm -hmm. I want to know the difference between Allah and God. Because when you talk to them, they will make it clear to you that it is the same God that is up there. They admit it. They keep preaching it. That, that is the same God that... There, there is no Muslim who is a Muslim 
I mean, on the on a very normal uh, day, a Muslim who doesn't understand Islam can say anything. I am telling you what their core beliefs are. A typical Muslim in his heart of hearts knows that the God that he's worshipping is not the same as the Christian God. And if you, if I don't, you have heard people say it in a certain way, but I am telling you what I know foundationally from Muslims. Mm -hmm. You understand? And for me, um, if you say that a Muslim uh, told you that, uh, he, okay. he may be telling you uh, that do you in know order what? to get you. We will, we, we, because we don't have a Muslim on the, on, yes. on the set, I wouldn't want to discuss of it. Of course. Though I have a bit of idea about this, yes. I knew from uh, since that um, it is um, the... Uh, Jesus Christ and Muhammad that was the conflict yes, it is the first time that I'm hearing that oh the God to and the Allah to is different from this is the first time, this is the first yeah, time yeah. I'm so hearing I'm telling you this. that's so, the truth so no, I would, the truth. I would, truth. I would, I would, truth. I would, it's not do, my truth. Uh, yeah, it's please truth. get me a, a, a Muslim so that he come and explain yeah. to me if the Allah not. is different not. from, and you, you had a question for him. No, no, I, 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 no. I said he hadn't. He hadn't really given yes. the distinction. So because, I'm because I was, I was coming. Your with truth is your okay, truth. You see, add up. see right now, right now, up, right it. now, mm -hmm. he is actually propounding relativism. That my truth is even from his truth. So that's why I wanted to set together how we can define or what we can, how we can know whether something is true or not. If we had done that right okay, from the beginning. Like I said, because we don't have a Muslim on this. No, no, I'm not going to talk about uh -huh. Islam. But I, I, want you to, I want you to talk about the reincarnation thing that you were talking about. No, that but that is not a major thing. I uh -huh. was just trying to, it was something he said and uh -huh. it was just, it was just casually mentioned. I was just trying to tell you that there are two different religious uh, uh, what do you call distinctions which is the monotheistic. Mm -hmm. They believe in a God. Uh, or the God, and then we have one that believes in several gods. That is the pantheistic, which are the Eastern religious bodies like Buddhism, Hinduism, Shintoism, and all these isms. You understand? I'm saying that the the monotheistic always have a belief in heaven, and then the pantheistic is the one that have uh, that you when you die you can come back and all that kind of a thing. And that's not the reason why we are here. No, I want it, to, no. If if he he doesn't believe in any religion yes. for now. Yes. He said he's a free thinker. Yes. But if we are able to explain or define or find out something for him to understand that after death there is life, yes. and maybe you explain and he is convinced, that is where he would maybe try and see if he can settle here or join here. Am I? Am I? Am I, I mean, making my, sense? My challenge here is that you are not allowing me because he thinks that what I am saying is also a truth. Do you understand? And what he also has, is that also, it's a what, what yeah. as, he also, as but I'm coming to also prove why, why, how he is thinking. We can look at a broad understanding of things that all of us can understand to know that this is false and this is true. So how do we know that something is true or and false? Say, hey, this is what I want to do. What I'm saying Before is that I can even when, when he speak. started, when he started, yes. he said he's a free thinker. Yes. He said he's a free thinker. A free thinker. It's not that he's not heard anything. Yes. He's, he's heard a lot of things. Yes. But right now, he is saying his mind. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, every yes is an answer to a man, and no yes. is equally an answer to a man. Yes. So what you are telling him, mm -hmm. others are also watching us. Yes. The reason I'm saying that if we can define or if you can explain mm -hmm. this reincarnation thing for because at the moment a, a child of God understands that after death there is life. Listen, the fundamental challenge here is not reincarnation or any other thing. I'm showing you. I'm telling you, the fundamental challenge of my brother Dick. It's not whether something. Do you want to know about Wait, you, life after death? Please, no. You will not understand. <laughs> L listen, listen. What I am trying to say here mm -hmm. is that this brother believes that everything is true. Depending, I'm saying that everything cannot be true. So right from the beginning, I said that two views cannot be equally true if they have distinctive uh, 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 features. And I'm saying that the reason why I want to go to where I am going to before I can even talk about reincarnation or anything. It's because this brother says that every so do you know what is truth do you know truth or something when they say something is truth can you define what truth is since you 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 you, you are talking about truth and all that do you know can you tell me what truth is 
Um, truth has a myriad of different definitions. Like people have their own truth. That's why I said that. You see, you believe in what you believe. What's your I'm truth? Mm-hmm. You see, in life, yes, meat is ba- a bad thing for somebody. Yes. Somebody think it is good. Sometimes something you will say it is truth to you, it is not true to somebody. <laughs> Viewers, you are watching Revelations and my name is my Grace. Same time next week, we will come your way with this same conversation. I think we have to continue because I have issues here and I think every one of us here on the set has issues. So same time next week, we will come your way with this same conversation with Mr. Carl and my beautiful and handsome guest.